Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer and welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling. This channel is dedicated to the classic series of N64 wrestling games developed by Aki Corporation, which you are, if you are unfamiliar with WCW NWO World Tour, Revenge, uh, WWF WrestleMania 2000, No Mercy, Virtual Pro Wrestling 64, and Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you stick around. And this video is a Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Play. It's been a long time since I've done one, but if you notice right away, something's different here. The menu, the options menu, it's in English. But how, Be Better Gamer, how did you do that? What magic are you displaying? It's no magic. I'm actually showing off the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch, English translation patch, obviously, done by SK Styles, member of the Aki Club, too sweet. You can hit him up on Twitter at AkiClub64. I'll post all of that in the video and in the description how to get in contact with him because he worked very hard on this translation patch. It is the third version of this patch and I'm, I'm messing around with the options right now. This was basically what you're seeing is the very first time I started playing the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch. All my other Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 videos I've been running on the original cartridge off the N64, but look at this. Look, Giant Baba, Mitsuhiro Misawa in English, and Mitsuhiro Misawa, you could even spell all of that out in English when you were editing names in the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 original cartridge. So he even made it that you can fit their full names on the, you know, on their name, which is crazy. Look, Shinya Hajimoto. So if you notice when I did my edits for my Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 videos, I would put like their first initial and their last name and all these guys look it's just like I just started up for the first time because I did start up for the first time but everyone needs to be re-edited they have all their names already built in which is great I don't have to re-edit their names but I'll have to redo their costumes obviously that's not great Suzuki you know that's not what he looks like uh, gotta change all this stuff around but still half the work is already done it takes a good like hour or two, probably more, you know, to put in all the names and, and then you start getting disappointed when you can't fit all the names. None of the hidden wrestlers unlock. No, none of my edits carried over because this is running off of a ROM. And I'm going to put, this is not going to be a tutorial how I'm going to do how I did this. Uh, in the description below, I'll put a link on where to go on the old school reunion forum on the Zeta boards page. It's very easy, very simple to do. Look, even the arenas were named. Not new Bell, all this. It's, it's like I'm playing WrestleMania 2000. I mean, you always were kind of playing WrestleMania 2000 away, but like the fact that everything's in English, it's awesome. I'm gonna do a quick match. Look, so you can see the match settings are all in English. This is so sweet, I love this. Thank you, SK Styles, Aki Club. Thank you for all the great, there's a great mod community that work on the Aki games, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, WWF No Mercy, a lot of ROM hacks, a lot of costume edits. You know, SK Styles does a lot of other stuff too in the community. Thank you all for keeping it alive. I I have no idea how to do any of that stuff, where to begin with any of that stuff, but I guarantee you setting this up is very simple. Um, basically, you just need a Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 ROM, uh, you, you guys can figure out where to get those. Uh, make a copy of it, and then you download this program called Ninja Patcher. You select the patch that you also download from the you know old school reunion board. SK Styles put it there to download, and then you you put it on the ROM. You select the ROM, and there you go. It's 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 simple. It's really easy. It's as easy as it sounds, and. I would suggest when you do have that translated patch version, just rename it, you know, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 English patch or something, just so you know when you look for it, it's different from the actual Japanese one. Um, and so it's been a while since I've done a Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Play, and last I left off, I was still unlocking some of the wrestlers. Um, there was a reason why, besides all the other personal stuff that's happened in my life that caused me to take a break on my channel, but there was also a reason why, why when I came back, I wasn't doing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Plays right away, is because I knew 
I wanted to get the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation. And for the longest time, I mean, this has been out for about a year now or so, maybe longer. Um, and at least I found out about it about probably like a year and a half ago. And I could never get it running right away because I, I have a Mac. I know. I should get a PC. Whatever. Another topic for another time. And the emulators on the N64 for the Mac, they couldn't run the translation. There's other workarounds that you could do. They're tedious. And it's hard to say whether or not they work because I never tried it. I can never get them working. People talk about you can run those proper emulators that work with the patch through wine or obviously if you have boot camp on your Mac with Windows you can get it working I don't like going through all that hassle which is why I play a lot of console games more so than PC games but I was always very envious of watching people play these no mercy hacks these virtual world thing two patches and stuff like that and it almost made me like man I should just get a PC just to play that stuff and especially when I started doing this channel, a lot of people were asking me, hey, you're going to do those No Mercy mods, this and that. And I said, maybe one day if I get a PC. Um, but recently, probably about you know six, seven months ago, this is recent to me, um, I discovered the EverDrives made by Crix or Crixies. I think it's Crix. Uh, Crix with two Zs. Um, and he's someone who have made these series of EverDrives for all these consoles that are cartridge based where you can put an SD card and then play the ROMs on the original hardware and when I heard about that immediately I was just you know excited about the prospect of playing on original hardware ROMs I thought that was a really cool idea because I don't like to play ROMs on the computer and I'll get to that later but after a while I started thinking hey wait a minute if you can run translation patch ROMs on these EverDrives, which I was beginning to find out with people running stuff on the SNES EverDrives and Genesis, I was thinking maybe you can run the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch. So I started doing some research and sure enough in some of the forums I found out you can. So that's when I knew I had to get an N64 EverDrive. So what you're seeing is actually me. I'm playing on the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 ROM. The with the translation patch put on top of it but the ROM is actually running through my EverDrive 64 which is running through my N64 so it's like I'm playing the actual game on my N64 and that's why it looks I'm also running with new fancy S video cables so it does look kind of sharper um, and I started to do my recent WWF No Mercy Tag Team Championship Let's Plays with those same cables so N64 quality is going to look sharper regardless because of those S video cables, but it's very cool. You know, I really love the idea of playing ROMs through the original hardware, and I, I, a while back I did buy an N64 controller that plugs in to the USB um, to try to see if I wanted to do my Let's Play videos with ROMs instead of the cartridges, but I, it's going to sound weird. I don't like playing on the N64 controller the USB because it didn't feel exactly like the N64 it felt lighter the joystick didn't feel as firm this is all nitpicky personal preference stuff <laughs> you can go about playing these games however you want I'm not gonna argue and say which version is the best way to play it which way to go about if you should buy the cartridges if you get the ROMs if you should get the EverDrive if you play on your PC Whatever works best for you because you got to take in consideration time, money, energy to get all this set up. So, and space if you are going to run the consoles or PC, space on your hard drive, whatever. It's all about personal preference. As long, in my opinion, as long as you're enjoying the game and you're enjoying the games with the right intentions when it comes to getting ROMs, um, go for it. Because a game like this, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, you can't download it on Virtual Console, you can't download it anywhere. You know what I mean? So the only way to actually play it is either by somehow getting the original cartridge. And again, it's Japanese. So if you got an American console, European console, you got to find a way to play it that way. And then, or ROMs. So you're only left with a few options to play these games. And these games need to be remembered. They need to be played even to this day. I mean, wrestling right now is coming back into the mainstream. But these games still hold up. They're one of the best series of wrestling games ever, which is why I do this channel. 
you know when this game first came out I bought it I printed out a bunch of FAQs and guides from game facts and various angel fire websites and put them put them together in a three ring binder with dividers and over time I memorized pretty much everything because I was playing the game so much but if this was made you know 16 17 years ago I would have totally got this <laughs> you know I would have totally done it because it just it just makes things a little bit easier you know and obviously stuff probably got lost in translation and SK Styles you know with his knowledge he most likely did the translation as best as he can but even big companies when they do localization for Japanese games to North American or European they always change stuff to better suit that language so it, it in, at the end of the day to me the language isn't as important like oh is that the right translation or not it's just a convenience thing and it's kind of cool and also since I know I am producing these videos for YouTube it's gonna make it a little bit easier for people to try to get into these games I think because a lot of times a lot of comments I read um, there's a lot of people who love these games and they'll play them in Japanese but then there's a lot of people who really do you know they want to skip that barrier of entry they want to be able to play it in English just because it's a personal preference for them and that is okay now going forward what does this mean for my channel with virtual pro wrestling 2 am I gonna stop playing the Japanese version no I'm gonna do both <laughs> I'm gonna do both because I still want to have a full complete cartridge look at this so this is cool right here Kobasi perfect victory the opponent didn't even come close I love that it says that and it, you know I just wonder if it says other stuff like I mean I, I did pretty much beat up Amori you know he couldn't get a he couldn't get a, a move in edgewise but I wonder if it says something else so that's really cool and then I was really shocked by this when I was recording this I was like wait who did I unlock I didn't do anything blow the wind call the storm Will Japan's ring mats once again be stained by seas of blood? Here and now, the villainous warrior resurrects. Who is this? Like, <laughs> like I was like, who is this? And it's Abdullah the Butcher. And I got so excited when I saw that the first time when I was recording for this video because I was just, ah, I was just going to play my first match. Kobashi and Mori, whatever. I didn't realize I unlocked Abdullah the Butcher because we did blood. And that also makes me wonder. It's like, wait a minute. There's other ways to unlock Abdullah. Why is it that... We did it that way. So it's funny revisiting all this stuff. It shows us that maybe because things were in Japanese, we didn't fully understand how to go about unlocking everything. But look, there he is already unlocked. So that's cool. I'm going to have to re unlock everything. I'm going to have to unlock the stuff I already have and then unlock the stuff I didn't get a chance to unlock in the Japanese cartridge. But I think going forward for most of my Let's Plays, I, when it comes to unlocking stuff, I probably will be doing it with the English patch. Um, but I'll, I'll, it'll, I will see. I'll, I'll switch it up. You know, maybe when I do my G1 Climax tournament, I'll do it in the English patch. But I was also thinking of streaming a lot more. And maybe when I stream, I'll stream the Japanese version. Because when I stream, I don't have to worry about recording stuff. So it's a little... A little bit more laid back so I could play the Japanese version and not worry about all oh, this would be great footage for my channel but look even in the the computer intelligence this is so cool you know and it actually makes it a little bit easier because look in the finish right way you can see it's the burning lariat since everything used to be in Japanese I would always have to go in and click it and look at it again and not a huge difference but it's just those little things sometimes those little things help again personal preference I at the end of the day, as long as you're, if you could somehow stumble upon my video, and thank you for watching again, but if you stumble upon my video and you think this game is cool, there are multiple ways to try to play this game now, in the year of 2017, from a game that came out in the year 2000, that's not being reproduced in any re way by the official companies. THQ is gone, Aki is no longer Aki, they're Sin Sophia, and they don't make wrestling games anymore. Uh, and we haven't even had a Japanese wrestling game up until recently, Fire Pro Wrestling World. But, you know, so your options are limited. So if, if you want to enjoy this game and you want to play the Aki engine again and, and play a version of it you probably never got to do, figure out the best way you want to go about it. You know, either go on eBay, get the original cartridge, mod your N64. And when I say mod, it's really just you can either cut the little things in the N64 or you can replace the back of the N64 cartridge 
or you can get one of those adapters there's different ways to do it if you want to play it on an American console um, or download a ROM play it on an emulator play it on your computer if that works best for you if that's easier for you because you don't want to spend the 40 bucks to get it on eBay or the 70 bucks to get it complete you know maybe you just want to try it out just for a little bit whatever it's but you're gonna have fun you're gonna have fun playing it and if you can enjoy that experience and share it you know when I went to recently and I still have to do a video about this I went to too many games convention in Oaks PA and that's where I bought the EverDrive I bought it from retro gamer and and look at this is cool like I was like wait a minute I can read what the instructions say uh, now in virtual pro wrestling 2 like I thought that was really cool that that translation is in there I'm very excited to do Royal Road secession mode with this translation but this is so cool this is something that kind of gets overlooked you know in WrestleMania um, in WWF No Mercy you can do the same thing you can press Z and help and see the uh, you know instructions for each mode but I was really interested to see what the game says for the mode and look lead mode this is what where I do the G1 climaxes, the round robin tournaments, pay per view. Look, it tells me work on having a sold out event. I didn't know you could sell out your events. I'm gonna have to do more pay per view matches. Like that's so cool. Like you know, I never really understood what it meant. I, you know, I know SK Styles has a lot on his plate, but if we can get a virtual pro wrestling 64 translation mod, that would be great. Triple Crown Championship, World Tag Team Asia. Look, it calls out the championships, and then look here. It describes the All Japan um, calendar, which is so cool. I mean, I already kind of figured that out from playing the game so long. I was like, oh, this kind of follows when they do their World's Strongest Tag League tournament and their Champion Carnival. But it's cool that it puts it in there. I didn't know that it actually put it in there, and that's what it was saying. Uh, this is so cool. I'm so excited to be doing. It's gonna. It's like rediscovering the game all over again, a game that I've been playing for like 17 years. I get to rediscover it and that's kind of cool and you know that's why I do these videos because like I was just talking about when I went to the too many games tournament I, I did a channel update about going there uh, going there and competing in a no mercy tournament I lost I came in second place I'll talk about that though it was it was still fun it was still a good time and our finals match was pretty epic but the most fascinating thing about me about going to that convention I knew I was gonna get the everdrive there and I knew I was gonna get no mercy I was gonna do the no mercy tournament but what I didn't expect was when I was playing in the no mercy tournament how many people weren't just like me and what I mean by that is I thought I was gonna meet a bunch of people who've been playing this game for 17 years you know like a lot of people and even the tournament organizer himself they only recently got into the game maybe one year two years three years ago a couple of years back and that was great to see that there's still people discovering this game and becoming passionate about this game 15 years later, 16 years later. And that's why I love doing these videos. So I think that's why going forward I am going to do the translation patch because part of the excitement is when I do these videos is people finding out about this game and playing this game and seeing things they probably never even realized about the Aki series. But also now I have a chance to rediscover it with those same people, and that's exciting to me. So it, I'm very, I'm very, very, you know, excited about the possibilities of all the things that could come out for this. Thank you again to SK Styles. Again, hit him up on Twitter. He's at Aki Club 64. Check the description down below if you want to download this English translation patch and you know figure out whatever way works best for you if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments you know what to do you've been on YouTube before like subscribe and I got more virtual pro wrestling 2 content lined up it is back on the channel a lot of my stuff is coming back on the channel I've got more time to work on these videos so stay tuned to that check out all of my other stuff I'm be better gamer thank you for watching until next time Keep watching all the wrestling.